What's up, weirdos? Whiskey Chaser here on the Shay Lisi channel, having a great time at the Dirty Shame. We're about to drink beers, do drugs, and have some fun, baby. Demonetize. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's see some titties, baby. <laughs> who's got some? Who's got some tits? Come on, pull them up. Pull them up. Because these horsemen ride with the all right everybody welcome back to the whiskey chase the channel my name is choose we are on our way from atlanta to tampa gonna be a nice quick little trip only about eight hours thanks for coming back to part two of the forgotten angels weekend hope you enjoyed the last video got a few people with us today that we didn't have last night and uh, lost a few people unfortunately not to say that there's anything wrong with the other guys who dropped out because it is a hard long ride anybody who made it even halfway is a very respectable rider in my eyes so good job to everybody every single person Oh, Florida State Line. What's up, Florida? How's it going, baby? Florida. We here. We here. Pulling over to the Florida Welcome Center. Look at all these palm trees. This is so tropical. I love it. I'm in Florida, I do what I want! Keep it weird! Look, it's Tampa! It's a lot less interesting looking than Atlanta was. Whatever, it's Tampa! Well, well, would you look at that? Crazy. This bridge is huge! We made it! All right, so we were gonna go to the campground, but a couple of the guys all decided to make a pit stop. Where is it? There it is. Burt's Barracuda, the OCC Roadhouse. Hell yeah. Let's get fucked up! Yeah, baby! Yes! And then go ride bikes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Look, we made it in! Look at this guy. You know him? You know this guy? You know her? Yes! This is incredible! A few beers later. All right, thank you, Burtz. That was great, that was awesome. We ran into the one and only Mr. Shade Tree Surgeon, the true swamp wizard. And he said he wanted us all to go out to the dirty shame with him. So guess what? We're gonna all go out and have a good time. Look at all these bikes! I'm so happy. I am so happy! Got to meet up with so many friends. This is only be the beginning. Only the beginning. This whole group right here, this group ride is honestly so much better of a pre-party than I could ever possibly imagine. Like they were like, oh yeah, seven o'clock OCC Roadhouse pre-party. Great, that's awesome. It was bike night, there were a lot of people out. But you know what, this right here, us all riding together, so cool, so cool. This is a good time, dude. This is a good time.
New York Pizza! <laughs> I'll just go <love> that! Right? <laughs> Literally 6th Street in Austin. <laughs> Oh yeah, you know what it is, the dirty shame. I don't know how the hell we're gonna fit all these bikes in here. You're in this selfie. <laughs> Hi. Hi. It's Hi. Biker Bay Bay. This is my friend. Oh, there's Sid Lisi back there on their split. Oh, flip that over here. <laughs> Having a good time here at the Dirty Shame. That's the first time we've been here, and it's uh, pretty awesome, man. Yeah, I like it. The following day. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to the campgrounds. We are headed up by ourselves right now <laughs> to Bert's Harley Davidson because I'm the worst and I didn't get up in time. Of course, people don't really realize that when you work service industry hours, it's a little difficult. So, it's uh, just past 10 o'clock right now. Everybody's pretty much already left and I'm headed up by myself. <laughs> Not even surprised. I had such an amazing time last night hanging out with Josh and Shay and Beth and Drew and getting to finally meet Desiree and hanging out with Matt. And just so cool, man. It was such a good time. I am just so full of happiness to be here with all of these people, all these amazing, incredible people. We're all doing a little bit of good with this charity and having fun doing it. So good times by all. Thank you so much, Josh and David, Forgotten Angels, and Cindy, for having us out to party and hang. It's just amazing. <laughs> so I'm like just, I'm still kind of in awe about it. Yeah, riding by myself, David <laughs> woke me up. He's like, hey, we're all leaving. And I was just like, meh, 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 meh. He's like, okay, good morning. See you later. And I heard them all left. <laughs> heard them all leave. It was it was probably like 15 minutes later that they all left, but it felt like it was like two seconds. And I was like, oh god damn, they weren't kidding. They were ready to go. But I'm pretty sure that I just probably fell asleep again, and then their bikes woke me up. Oh well, we're gonna make it. I promise. Welcome to Paris. Uh, it's uh, 11.30 in the morning. I think I'll have myself a beer. 
Who's this little gremlin over here? <laughs> <laughs> Such an accurate representation Dude. of people's like popping around. Literally, you're like a little troll hiding behind a bridge. Like, so. You must uh. pay the troll toll to get to this boy's hole. We got Brandon from Indianapolis. His bike is falling apart, literally, while on the way down here. He's still fucking I don't feel bad. I did see then my man remote coders came down from many how, how meta is this? Recording a recording. Influencers in the wild. Vlog section. <laughs> came all the way to Florida, to Tampa. I don't know guys. I think I might leave with this bike right here. What do you think? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna be eating at the OCC Roadhouse. Just almost smack David right in the face right there. Triggering both of our anxiety as service industry professionals because we're at a four top and as you can see we have <laughs> we have way more than four people and uh they're in the weeds. It's and they're weeded out real bad. So like David and I are just sitting here just like uh, and we're not even working. <laughs> All right, we'll see how this is. Yeah, daddy. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> this is real nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is that sticking me in the back, Chase? Can I get a beer over here? <laughs> <laughs> is that a flashlight in your pocket? <laughs> Look at this fool geeking out right here. Yeah. Geeking out over the NASA, NASA bike. Here, yeah. <laughs> It is cool though. Like, Dude. this thing is incredible. Those I know. I, yeah. And hey, did you see this episode? Yeah. This thing is awesome. Like the whole lower end of the fork is a rocket. Yeah, it's a rocket. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a huge fuse lock. All right, had lunchish, whatever, blah 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 at OCC Roadhouse, and now we're gonna roll out to the campground. Everybody else already left, but the cool kids here. <laughs> oh, you ran! You ran away. <laughs> the cool kids here. We're gonna we're gonna all roll out together. So it'll be cool. We'll see you at the campground. Oh man, it's a good thing we already set up our tents because I have a feeling it is gonna be crazy over here. <laughs> Shelby's fucking <laughs> Ford out front. Damn! Look how many bikes there are. What's up, bro? Behold, influencers in the wild. <laughs> cool beans, man. All right, thank you. All right. Hell yeah. I've been working on this. I've been working on this idea for about a month and a half. Shade Tree mentioned it into a video. In one of his videos, I, I come up with it. I've you created. Your name right. I've, I know. I've created three. I was trying to remember how to do uh, cursive. I created three gifts. I was just holding that camera. <laughs> and the, the one that I would call like the crown jewel gift. I'll tell you what. That's a good looking sticker right there. That's a good looking sticker right That's there. That's a good yeah. looking sticker yeah. right there. All right, running out real quick on a mission from God. Not really God, but she tree surgeon on a mission from the swamp wizard. He told me to go get him some change. Uh, I guess they need change for the shirts, so I'm gonna go do that real quick and be right back. Well, that bank is closed. There's a chase. I can do that. All right, so the Bank of America is closed. Chase Bank, that is right next to the Bank of America, does not carry cash on site. <laughs> so <laughs> he told me to go to another one about 10 minutes away. Everything here is so far away. All right, 
let's see if we have better luck. Alright, the get has been got. The drop is about to happen. Dude at the bank was kind of weird. He seemed like really sketched out that I was trying to get change, which is, I don't know, interesting. Because I go get change for the bar all the time, and they don't ever seem to have a problem with it. I guess maybe just getting cash is, is not that common here, maybe? I don't know. But whatever. I got a couple fat stacks in my pocket. Smashed my balls. There goes Weems. Did I send you on a wild ass goose chase or what? I'm sorry, dude. I'm fucking in It's all good, man. Now we can do like indecent proposal. Like we'll just lay on the bed and throw the money all over us. <laughs> dude, you're the man. Little here, you guessed it. Five more. Shade tree surgeon. What do you think this is? Five more. Play with it, roll around with it, enjoy yourself. <laughs> I can't wait to put this on here and get like an insta DUI when the cop pulls me over and goes, <laughs> What does that pin say? Everybody's like putting them on their like the stickers on their boxes and stuff, and I'm like, Great. I love it. Hey, it's great. Listen up here. Right now, my man Whiskey Chaser hanging out with my other friends up in New York City. This guy is the creme de la creme, the best of the best. If you want to know what it's like to hang out with a legend, give this motherfucker a call. Don't call me. <laughs> Damn. What's up? So this is Dean. Dean lived in New York in Manhattan, worked at CBGB, and we actually know people. Yeah. We're, we have mutual acquaintances up there. Uh, Jeff and Melody from Lucky 13, we both know those guys yeah. he knows them from the from the music scene i know him from the bar bike scene so dude <laughs> small sick. world dude so cool to be out here and, and meeting people i love it i love it Fuck like, yeah <laughs> no by cindy tilly um just really quickly give her a round of applause for starting this <laughs> Woo! Yeah, yeah me too who, who said that who gonna check on tv that's me that's me I've traveled all over the world speaking to people and um, I'm one of those people that once I've met you you are immediately my friend if you guys got that sense yet that I love you all and that we care about you Woo! All right, Hell yeah. it's true it's absolutely true we are so grateful for every one of you guys being here if you haven't come up and said hello yet shame on you I'll be here come and speak to us this is Tim I'm gonna do a couple introductions real quick Tim has been here almost the longest. He rides, uh, he's gonna be taking his motorcycle endorsement soon, so give a hand for Tim. Yeah. Woo! Woo! This is Jason. Jason is our second longest resident. Jason lives right back here in that little tiny home with his dog, Jay Buddy. Jason's gonna be, Jason's gonna be doing um, bike washes, so please use Jason. I use him, he's amazing. If you want a, uh, just a, a real a quick wash, to wash your car for 15 bucks. If you want a proper detail, it's only 45 bucks. So please bring your bikes to Jason in the back. He will do a very good job. He's gonna be doing this all weekend. There's some shit going on. <laughs> oh, y'all didn't know that I used that word. Now huh? y'all think I'm Mr. Perfect and Mr. Wholesome? No, I say shit. I use that F word every once in a while too when I'm around this guy. He, he's been a good influence on me and a horrible influence on me. Absolutely terrible. Um, but you guys all know Josh. I'm going to spend a couple minutes on Josh because he means so much to our foundation. And it's not just the money that's been raised. And for you guys who are not aware, um, we finished up at, I think it's $272,000. And Shay has been a supporter from the very beginning. The day she learned about Forgotten Angels, she became an immediate supporter of us and we love her to death. Cindy and I were in tears and when we saw her have that motorcycle accident, it still chokes me up. Yeah. So we're so grateful for you, Shay, for your ride in today, the fact that you're with us. Give it up for Shay. Yeah. Woo! This is Armand. Armand is one of our board members. He's also a rider. He's been supporting us since the day I met him. He's a dear, dear friend. Um, you guys can call him Bear, if you can't tell why. 
Yeah, cause, 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 cause just like, just like, real bears are my shits in the woods. <laughs> Forgotten Angels' goal, and she didn't know it when she met me, but my goal, as soon as I came on board with Forgotten Angels, was to close down as, as many group homes as we possibly could. Literally shut them down, because they're horrible places. Jason and Tim have, have spent too many years in them. And since they've been here, they've done nothing but grow and become real fine young men. So get a minute to speak to Jason. Jason will tell you about his experience at Forgotten Angels. Tim will do the same. They're both here. Tim's a little bit shyer. I know he's hating me for, for, for calling him out right now. But Tim, there's, there's, not, there's not a young man that has grown more in the time that he's been here than this young man. And Cindy and I are so proud of him. You have no idea Let's go, how Tim. proud we are. Yeah. Yeah! A yeah. couple months ago, some scraggly guy came off the streets. Come on up. All right, so I'll come over there. You all know Shelby from the channel. Yeah. Woo! Shelby, let me tell you. Let me tell you something about Shelby. Shelby basically led me 3,000 flawless miles to California, despite getting crushed by a woman in a. Ford Flex, this is a, he's, he's not only an amazing man, he's an amazing rider, he's an amazing mechanic, and he's also an incredible mentor for our young men. And Cindy and I, we, we love him to death. We're so grateful for him being on the property and being a part of Forgotten Angels. So please give it up for Shelby. Shelby! I'm gonna hand this over to Josh. You can say a couple words about the events tonight and everything else. Oh, wait, wait, Cindy first. Well. I need to say thank you to Baron. He came here on Did vacation. He yeah, he's here somewhere. Where's Baron? Where's Baron? Come on up. This guy has been fucking amazing the entire time he's been here. If you guys remember, Baron showed up to the first tour, to the last camp out. Um, he called me up and said, hey, do you mind if we, if I come a day early? We didn't mind at all. He showed up and he immediately started just kicking in and, and helping out. A few months later, Cindy and I wanted to take a ride up to northern Georgia, but I thought it'd be a little bit too far. So I called Barrett up and I said, hey, do you mind if we leave our trailer and, and truck up there? And he was more than gracious to do that. But then just because he's that type of person, he donated the Buell Blast that you guys all saw, Arab Honey, Riding, that was donated by Baron. Woo! And just to just to outdo himself one more time, he also donated a Mazda Miata. <laughs> and so we are we are grateful. He's been here for about a month. I hope he stays another month. I know he won't, but I, I hope he will. Maybe a week. Please give it up for Baron. Awesome guy. Make sure you get to know him also. Jay. <laughs> Listen, man, I gotta go first because you guys know he's gonna go rambling speed forever. <laughs> I can't believe all of you showed up here. I'm, I'm not gonna give a speech because I'm pretty speechless right now. <laughs> Just hearing all your stories about how far that you all traveled to be here is amazing to see what is going on here for your own eyes. And I wanna thank every single one of you from the bottom of my heart. So I'm gonna do it in a group and then you guys can all line up individually for your thanking. Okay. <laughs> I'm first. Not spanking, thanking. I thank you. I thank all of you for being here. Madam Hex says you're later. Jokes aside, every single person here is a hero. Absolutely. So give it up for all of you. Seriously. We would not be here if it wasn't for all of you. It would just be us on the stage talking to the dogs. <laughs> so thank you for being here. Thank you for your support in every single way possible. Y'all are amazing. Truly, every single one of you, you're all amazing. Now line up individually so I can thank you. All right, guys. I'm not oh, going to spend go. too much time thanking you all because uh, everybody else has uh, done it more than enough. I think you guys have gotten too much at this point, uh -huh. if you really ask me. I just want to, uh, the only thing I want to talk about is basically the same thing I talked about last year. And that's the fact that we're standing here 
And what I wanted to do for everybody who came in, I've talked about this in my videos a lot, I've talked about it on Instagram a lot, and I feel like I know everybody here. People walk up to me and they say, is it, is it weird that I'm meeting you and you're just, uh, I just know you from the internet. I'm like, motherfucker, ain't weird. I only know you from the internet too, it's fine, man. Like, if you wanna make it weird, it can be weird, but trust me, it's fine, man. It's absolutely fine. And everybody came here from so far away, and I love it. I look into this crowd, and I just see just some of the absolute worst people I can imagine. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> these are, these are, everyone, this is just a, a motley pack of assholes. Some of, some of the dregs of society. Some of the people that society and the general public never believed in. I know every single person here, when you look at when you look at these young men here, I know every single person here, maybe not everybody, some people had great families, but I know a lot of you guys here, a lot of you guys had a hard time when you were kids. A lot of time, I know a lot of you had to remember the first time you hit your dad in the face. You know, like I know there's a lot of people who have checkered past here. I can see it from your tattoos. I can see it from your scars. I can see it from the looks on your faces. And why we did this and why this event is free beer, free food, free camping. Everything is free because everybody is welcome. If all the money you have is enough money to get, get your daughter carcass here, <laughs> that's all you need to do because everybody's welcome. I always talk about Florida. People talk about why, how weird Florida is. Talk about the Florida man. You know why? Because everybody's running from something. And Florida, Florida's the last stop. <laughs> so they end up here. And you guys are sitting here and you're looking at this. And what I want you all to think about while you're here is all these young men here are get, what you can do either by talking about it by donating or by donating your time. What you can do for everybody who had a, a shitty childhood, for everybody who didn't get along with their dad, for everybody whose society passed over, for everybody who society has looked at them like they weren't good enough, and I see you guys out there. What you can do is help negate that for somebody else. And that's what this place has done for me. It's given me a purpose. It's given me something I can believe in. Because otherwise, I'm just drinking and drugging and having fun, man, what am I doing? <laughs> But now, I can do something. I can do something that means something. I can help somebody. And it has a absolute, Dave and Cindy, and sp very specifically Jared Weems, who I wish was here right now, have changed my life. Yeah. Changed my life. And I hope that everybody standing here right now, that it changes your life as well. Because you can do something that's worth doing. You can come here and you can make a difference in somebody's life. Because let me tell you, look at you assholes right here. It's too late for y'all. <laughs> But you can do something to help them out. And that's and that's why we're here, and that's what we're doing, and that's why I invited people from all over the country, and people came here so you can see it for yourself. I'm not making it up. I want you to see what I see. When I talk about it in the videos, and I say this changed my life. When I come out here and I look at what's happening out here, it just brings me to my knees. I'm so humbled. I, I'm so amazed. It makes me want to cry. I want everyone to experience that. So you know, basically, so I can just you know feel better. <laughs> so, so you guys get to cry too. All right. Thanks for coming out, man. You guys, everybody. Thank you. On that note, taps are open. Yeah. Woo! So look at this. Look at this. I got fangirls. Boom. Boom. I love it. Yeah, the jello shot. Apparently, Cooter needs another one. <laughs> Get Nancy. I didn't know we were waiting. Everybody loves jello, even Bill Cosby. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do that again. No, no, I'm keeping, I'm keeping that in the video. All right, cheers, guys. <laughs> we're really good at this. Behold. Yeah, we're all like, time to film! Influencers in the wild. Yes. Shit, I never put a camera. I never put the fucking memory card back in. Back. See, I'm a shitty ass influencer. You're just like, yeah, influencers in the wild. Except I forgot my fucking memory card. Yeah, the worst. The worst. I'm the worst only half the time. I got it in my back pocket. See, I would have said it would have been back. No, you got a little, you get a little mini box. Well, I couldn't figure out where it was in the RV, and I was like, oh, I give up. No, I got it all. I can do it Jeez. all. I'm uh, in struggle. I got day. it all. 
I can do it all. It's all me. I can do it. Dude, fucking look at this. Hot mess express over here. Hey! Listen, you guys aren't supposed to see me like this because I take this all out in post. Behind the scenes shit. Yeah, I know. Yeah. What are you doing, Chase? What are you doing? This is good content. This is good. That because I hope to be curled up in my little burrito bed by then. What are you even watching here right now? What is this? There is free dirt and food at this event, so I think it's time to have dinner. And everyone else bird. is gonna get drunk. Look at the bird! Look at the bird! <laughs> yeah, it's a bird! It's Where a bird! Your... Birds happen! Birds happen! Birds here. happen! There's so many cool birds here. I was so distracted on the highway. I was like, look at all those birds! <laughs> Girl, you seem distracted by pretty much everything, not just birds. <laughs> True. We were just talking about who's gonna throw their swimsuit on first and go jump in the uh, swamp. Trying to hang out with some little gator baits? Yeah, yeah. exactly. I you always know, like leeches. You know, leeches. gigging frogs? We'll, we'll gig leeches. No. Be great. What is wrong with these people? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Could be worse. Well, I get to deal with this all weekend. <laughs> Best weekend of your life! <laughs> Alright, folks, that's gonna be it for day, I guess technically two of the Forgotten Angels camp out. It's starting to get a little dark out here. Uh, as you can see, this wonderful, beautiful sunset is happening behind me and it is absolutely incredible. So, uh, gonna be turning the camera off and turning the shenanigans up. So, maybe I'll do a little post on uh, Instagram if you are not following that. It's uh, at whiskeychaser underscore. You should definitely go do that. It's gonna be right here. We're gonna see what happens. I don't know if tomorrow is gonna to be a continuation of this video or if it's gonna be a new video. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe come. So, see you later.